Hello guys, welcome back to our channel EO's Marketplace News. So guys, good morning, have a great day, have your coffee for the news. Okay, so just sit back, enjoy your day, and again, let's take in positivity. All right, so this is Alex signing in, and I will be giving you the latest news for today. All right, now, this news is brought to you by PCN. You can visit pcn.today or www.pcn.com. That today, but before I proceed, I just want to give you again the reminder that we always say to our videos that here on EO's Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors, so mm, we highly recommend that you make your own research about the tokens or coins that we mentioned or that we will be mentioning on our videos because I, as well, or I know who already has invested or who already have invested to a specific coins or token. They did their own research, right? So also, we would like to tell you that you make your own research and then you can decide for yourself. All right. Okay. So going back, our um, news for today is brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News. Here, Monero to become first billion dollar crypto to implement bulletproof tech. Wow. All right. Let me give you the details. Now, a highly anticipated technology designed to make blockchain privacy features more scalable will be tested in the wild soon. Named Bulletproofs in the tech, which was invented by cryptographers Benedict Bonds and Jonathan Boodle, promises to dramatically decrease the weight of confidential transactions and on Thursday, October 18, privacy-oriented cryptocurrency Monero will put that to the test. All right. Oh, it has been tested today, right? The first major cryptocurrency to deploy the technology, Monero has been focused on how to implement bulletproofs for the past year in an effort to cut the size of its confidential transaction by at least 80%. As well as dealing with the scaling setbacks inherent to most blockchains, Monero comes with additional privacy layers which are heavy to compute and unruly to store. The scalability of confidential transactions have been a significant hurdle for the 1 billion blockchain, with users long suffering high transaction fees as well as an ever increasing cost of storage for running a full node. Speaking to the um, pseudonymous Monero cryptographer Sarang Noder, who assisted with the bulletproof integration toiled Coindesk. Blockchain bloat was definitely an issue for Monero. Bulletproofs will replace, uh, will replace the current zero-knowledge range proofs that its confidential transactions rely on. As such, the cryptocurrency will activate the technology during its next system-wide upgrade or hard for a kind of upgrade that it requires all nodes to adopt a new software hard forks are sometimes colored as a risky process however this upgrade is part of monero's biannual cycle to introduce new features we're excited about this saran continued part of the reason we do the upgrades is so we can be safely on the cutting edge and i think this is a really really good move forward the black box. It's worth um, noting that bulletproofs don't actually contribute to privacy itself. Rather, they simply ensure that information stored within a confidential transaction doesn't contain any false information. They're not about an, um, anonymity. They are about assuring that the other stuff we do for anonymity works collect. Um, correctly. Sarang told Coindesk, Monero relies on three different mechanisms in combination with each, with each other, stealth addresses, 
ring signatures and ring confidential transactions in order to achieve anonymity. Oh, that's very risky. Bulletproofs target the latter, ring confidential transactions and ring CT, which is how Monero obscures the quantities that are being sent in a transaction. Because Ring CT's user use Ring signatures, um, a cryptographic operation that obscured data by mixing it up with different outputs, Monero needs a way to ensure that transactions balance correctly. That is, to make it impossible for money to be printed in the process. Up until now, Monero has relied a kind of zero-knowledge range proofs to fulfill this task, named a bitwise Borromean range proof. Trouble is these range proofs are very slow and large operations, Sarang said, to the point that the vast bulk of transactions size-wise on the blockchain are these existing range proofs. Instead, bullet proofs work by aggregating information into new data structures that scale lo um, logarithmically rather than um, new linearly, meaning that the scaling gets even more notable for large transactions that contain multiple outputs. Speaking to this, Sarang said, um, it does not it does the same thing, this nice black box, zero knowledge proof idea, but it's much, much, much smaller and much, much, much faster to do. All right, better equipped. Thursday's upgrade will be introducing other changes to Monero's code base as well. Now, targeting the ring signatures that Monero relies on to conceal sender identities, the upgrade will increase the mandatory ring size, which is heralded as a way to increase Monero's anonymity set and make it less vulnerable to linking attacks. The upgrade also implements a second tweak to Monero's mining algorithm intended to dissuade the emergence of ASIC or ASICs excuse me, a highly optimized mining hardware from being used on the network. As detailed by Coindesk, this is, um, this is following an upgrade, an upgrade in March that disabled a line of ASIC hardware that had been developed for the cryptocurrency, a move that has since become regarded as the genesis of crypto's war on miners. Still, of all the upgrades, Bulletproofs has been the most ho hotly anticipated in part due to the simplicity of adding the tech to Monero's over aching privacy system. It's not often you can basically take a cryptographic instruction, yank it out and put a new one in. But this one, one uh, this was one case where we could do that, Sarang told Coindesk. With a focus on bulletproofs then, the code also tweaks Monero's underlying fee structure so that it more accurately reflects the fact that bullet, bulletproof scales so well, Siren continued. As mentioned, the upgrade will begin on October 18, but will happen in two parts. On the 18th, bulletproofs will be enabled on Monero and by Friday, the tech will be made compulsory. Users who update their software shouldn't notice this at all, Sarang said. All right, mitigation horizon. Now going forward, Monero researchers are looking for more experimental way to scale Monero, which might one day include moving away from ring signatures altogether. Alongside another cryptographer named Surai Nother, Siren works under the Monero Research Lab, a section of Monero's development dedicated to analyzing academic innovations in cryptography and deciding whether they can be applied to Monero. All right. Now, we're taking all these new stuff and saying, what if anything can be feasible in the future for our community? Saran said, adding, um, we're always looking at new ways to move away from ring signatures in order to get better anonymity sets or at the very least ring signatures that scale better. 
And on top of that, Sarang said cross-chain atomic swaps, payment channels and networks, as well as fundamentals like refund, transaction, refund transactions are being examined as part of the lab's work. Still, the developer was quick to draw attention to what he calls the mitigation horizon of the difficulty of implementing cutting-edge ideas that could have effects on the cryptocurrencies community, assets, and other features. We hope not, right? You have the new technology that you're interested in investigating, but what happens at the transition point where you have to bring everything over with you? Sarang asked. According to the developer, Bulletproofs was unique in this capacity. He told Coindesk Bulletproofs was this cool example of something that was a nice a self-contained entity that we were able to deploy in a way that is working great so there you go guys that's the news that's the news for today that's um, brought to you by pcn or preferred currency news and guys if you want to be the first one to get updated you can subscribe now just visit www.preferredcurrency.news and in here, you can subscribe so that you will be the first one to get notified and get the latest new updates, right? So you can use your PayPal for a monthly recurring. That's only $15 per month fiat. Or you can use this one, the Coinbase option. It's only $180 annual subscription to be paid with crypto, okay? So you choose $15 per month or $180 annual subscription to be paid with crypto. So we can subscribe monthly and that's very affordable. Only $15 guys, okay? Only $15. All right. So guys, that's it for today. Please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right. And if you have questions or queries you can always contact donald lewis or donald the guru um, his information his contact info is available on the site so don't worry if you want to check the site i will be posting the links on the information of this video all right so guys don't forget to subscribe this has been alex thank you so much for watching have a great day bye